Okay, so they're about an inch apart now. I have one straw for myself that I'm going to use to blow through. Now, what I'm going to do is, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then you tell me how this fit, or relates to Bernoulli's principle. I'm going to stand about six inches away, and I'm going to blow in between the cans. Now, I want you to think about how this relates to our high speed, low pressure, low speed, high pressure example. Tell me where the high pressure is, tell me where the low pressure is, and tell me what you think is going to happen when I blow in between the cans. So, let me get a volunteer. <laughs> yes, please, explain to me where the high pressure is, where the low pressure is, and what's going to happen. I'm sorry, I'm going to videotape you, I don't have permission. This is science with Tommy. What's that? Oh. Someone else? Yeah, please. There's going to be low pressure in between the two cans. Low pressure in between? Why? Because you're I didn't get her face, so yeah, I'm blocking you off with my face. Right, so there's mm -hmm. high high speed here, low pressure, and what's going on on the outside of the can? It's pretty still, so it's going to have high pressure. Right, so we have, we have no movement, no velocity. We have high pressure out here. We have low pressure on the inside. Things move from high to low. And we would expect the can to move inward. So here we go. On three. One, two, three. Oh, okay, so this is, kind of, this is kind of contrary to what you think might happen. Because you're blowing in between. You're blowing in between your hands and they're coming together. Do it again. Oh, yeah. I have a question. Another.